All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rechakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And I want to get into a quick lesson that's concerning this dream that I had that's based on the scripture in Isaiah uh, 4 and 1. All right. And um, I'll say this real quick, brothers. You know, we're living in a time period, okay, where we're getting our power back. Okay. The Lord is, you know, doing a power shift right now as we speak. Okay. Esau Edom is losing his kingdom. And he's restoring ours. All right. And, um, you know, with us returning unto wisdom, it's uh, uh, bringing forth the kingdom. Okay. As it says in the, the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter, I believe that's the uh, 21st verse, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And, you know, with the kingdom, you know, comes what? You know, uh, uh, you know, power, dominion. Okay. Rulership. And that, you know, has you having multiple women, okay? You calling the shots. You basically controlling the earth, okay? You see? And best believe we're getting into that time period with these women, okay? They're going to humble down. And that pride is going to go away, all right? Best believe that pride... It, 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 it's coming off And they're going to have to bow down Alright You know uh, 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 To us Alright In particular the men of the Lord Now um, You know in this dream uh, There was a, a, a There's a woman that I used to deal with And um, this was a, a woman that I dealt with For a few years When I was younger Alright you know, right when I first, um, before I came into this truth and a little bit afterwards. And uh, pretty much we had a falling out. You know, um, you know she wasn't, uh, uh, you know, listening. You know, she did a lot of wicked stuff, you know, during our relationship. All right. And, um, you know, I parted ways because I was, you know, you know, focused on this truth. That, 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 that when, once I heard this truth that, that This has been in my mind And this has been consuming me From day one basically Okay And um Just to give a little background too You know you know we parted ways And um Throughout the years though She has uh, uh You know hit me up you know Sporadically Okay and you know we've had you know a few words With each other and one of the main things that I always tell her is, did you repent? I've been telling her to repent, like I said, since I basically came into this truth. And, uh, you know, she, she, she would, you know, of course, never uh, uh, say that she was sorry, okay, for, you know, the things that she's done. But in this dream, when uh, uh, I guess somehow we met up, I'm not really sure what the situation was, but... Um, I'm pretty sure this was when, you know, I don't want to say when all hell was breaking loose, but clearly America, you know, was circling down the drain. All right. At its end. And I'll say this, which we're, we're pretty much approaching these times. Okay. And, you know, she w was pretty much repenting for the things that she's done to me. Okay. And, you know, we were going back and forth and, um. You know, I told her, I said, you know, I, I have a, a whole family. You know, I got a woman, children. And she said pr pretty much that, you know, that that's not an issue. She, did, she didn't care. She pretty much just wanted to, to, to uh, 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 you know, be a part of my, uh, 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 you know, my, 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 you know, my household, you know. Okay. You see. Hey, we're going to get Isaiah 4 and 1 Because it talks about how 
you know, she, you know, the, the woman just wants, you know, your name, uh, 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 your name and for, for you to take away her reproach. Okay. And we're coming in those times where these women, they're, they're, they're just going to bow down. There's going to be no talking. There's going to be no arguments. Okay. Because if she doesn't get, you know, get with the program, she doesn't subscribe to what you're saying. All right. She's going to get kicked to the curb. Okay. And this world's going to, you know, eat her up, so to speak. You see? And, um, you know, after, you know, we, you know, we were talking, you know, you know, we ended up dealing. That's when basically I woke up. But I thought about it in the scriptures where, because it says in the, um, I think it's in Genesis where it talks about, you know, uh, how man and woman become one flesh. All right. And, and how, how does that happen? All right. Hey, when you start dealing with the woman, and you all know what I'm talking about. And that's how she starts, you know, having your name. All right. You see. And it's like I said, I'll say this. If, you know, for a lot of you brothers that, you know, you lost a particular female that you actually really, you know, cared for. And some of them might come back. Hey, you may or may not deal. I'll say that, you know, because some brothers, well, as they, you know, a lot of I can say, I'll see you on the other side. Hey, but it's some of these females that, hey, that you lost, you know, for this truth. Hey, you're going to get back on this side. Okay. That's just something, you know, that, uh, that, that, that you know, that I believe. Okay. All right. And then you're going to get, you know, uh, you know, a lot of women when this, you know, uh, 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 when this time period comes, all right. And that time period is, is Jacob's trouble. You see, we just have to wait and be patient. It's coming. They, they, the Lord is about to give us what we want. There's going to be no questions asked. Hey, we're we're going to get it. You know? Yeah, I'm telling you, it's it, 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 something that you can feel it in the spirit. Okay, you can feel it in the air, as they say, right? It, it, there's something's something's about to happen. There's going to be a, a great change coming very, very soon. I'm speaking as a man right now. I believe during these this whole election time period. All right, a lot of things are going to start, you know, uh, 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 you know, changing in this world. It, you know, a major, a major shift is about to happen. And a lot of people are about to be humbled. Okay? And you're going to have a lot of people start really listening to the prophets. Alright? You know, women are going to, you know, start dealing. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to be, you know, uh, you know, proud. They're not going to be talking back. They're not going to have their nose stuck up in the air. Family members that, that that have been on the you know uh, on the fence with this thing, they, they, they're either going to believe or not. A lot of them are going to start realizing what you said is on point, and you're going to start leading a lot of people. Okay, that's in Zechariah eight and twenty three. Read that scripture. Okay, but let me get this real quick. We're going to end this lesson. It's just going to be a quick one. It's Isaiah chapter four verse one. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You see, it's going to come. Um, when you get into that time period, all right, where it's going to be common for brothers to have multiple women. All right. You see. Like I said, in this vision, or this dream, whatever it was, that I had, like I said, my, the, 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 my old female that I used to deal with, hey, she, she didn't care that I had a whole family. She didn't care that I had a wife, you know? She didn't care about, you know, that I had children. She just wanted to be, you know, under my household. She wanted, basically, she wanted the protection. Okay, she wanted that protection. I'm telling you, hey, the, the Lord is really about to start, you know, elevating His men. We're 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 getting this power. Best believe, 
the brother said, hey, hey, have that faith that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to do these things. Have confidence. This world is losing. We're, we're winning. Okay? We're winning. Not this world. All right? But um, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, it was just a quick one. And uh, hopefully it was edifying and, uh, and uplifting to whoever was listening. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.